So just one more type of effect I'm going to teach you, and this is sadly going to be the very end of this amazing series of iMovie tutorials. But for now, let's enjoy a little bit of slow motion effect. So here I've got a shot, paintbrush going across the canvas. And let's say we want to play that in slow motion. We want to really draw that out. Select the clip, I go to the Modify menu, and go to the Slow Motion menu. And here I can slow it down to 50%, 25%, or 10%. Now, I'm actually going to zoom out in my timeline a little bit first so you can see what happens when we slow it down. So let's select the clip, choose Modify, Slow Motion, 50%. And look what happened. My clip got twice as long. Why would that be? Well, in order to slow the clip down, you need to extend the duration, right? We, he drags that paintbrush across the canvas, and it takes this, now it takes twice as long to do, so it's going to take twice as long in the timeline. And if I play this now, you see that super slow motion movement. You also notice that the audio gets slowed down, and you get a little turtle on your clip. Look at that little turtle appears to tell you this clip is playing in slow motion. So that's kind of nice. I'm going to turn off the audio because we don't really want that super silly slow motion. And if you don't like it too long, if you want to trim it, just shorten it up. So now the only difference is, you know, now it's the same length as it was, but it's still in slow motion. But that means that he's not going to get as far across the canvas by the end of the shot because the original shot went all the way to the other side of that you know, that orange area, but because we slowed it down, it doubled in length, and then I just manually trimmed it back to bring it back to its original length. So you can always trim it back if you want. You could also set the slow motion to 25%, which would make it four times as long, or 10%, which would make it 10 times as long. Probably only useful for a very, very short clip. And as I have been warning you throughout these tutorials, you know, if you slow something down, it's not going to look quite as good as the original source footage because you're digitally slowing it down. If you really want cool slow motion, you kind of need to shoot it that way in camera. But that said, nothing wrong with playing around, and sometimes it's really nice to be able to slow something down in the editing room. And now you know how to do that.